Our number five in play long shot. Well, it's true what they say, that the favourite never wins the last, and that very much rang true on Caulfield Guineas Day. Attrition opened with a BSP of $33.88 as they left the gates, and Tino, who'd been well supported all day, jumping at $5.60. And Tino backers felt it was a pretty comfortable watch for most of the race, with the horse shortening into a dollar two which means you'll probably appear in another one of our segments later on. Look like running straight past them, but Attrition, who at that same point in the race, spec at $760 in play, whilst Antino was getting matched for the volume of $300 at that $1 too, but Attrition was able to hold them off and record an extremely gallant victory. Fantastic for some, brutal for others. Our number four in play long shot. Another one of those sayings is favourites in small fields can be problematic, and that was the case with Inundation way back at the start of the year at Sandown. Inundation jumped at $1.40, but was matched for $800 at $1.03, but it was On The Lead who jumped with a BSP of $13.16, who maxed out at 1,000 to one, and was heavily backed at $800 in the run, was able to cause the boil over in the small field in what can often be a messily run race. Another one that could appear in multiple categories, this one as well, with the victory of On The Lead coming at a 48% better price on the BSP, which works out to be about $50 in the pocket for a $10 outlay. Unless, of course, you've backed $1,000 in play, then it's a lot more than that. Now, number three, in play long shot. Well, it's very rare that a long shot pre-race can encounter bad luck and still win. But that was the case for Taramsaw in August at Sandown. He jumped at $35.80 before running into backsides and getting stuck on the fence at the 500 metre mark. Apprentice jockey Sheridan Clark negotiated a passage through the race despite the runner spruiking at $600 in play. Sheridan was able to get the horse home despite the creator and Sirius Black for Harry Potter fans being well matched south of $2. This was a tremendous win for a horse who wasn't given much of a chance before the race and was given practically none during. Our number two in play long shot. Red card, the Godolphin runner, was the short priced favorite for this affair, but enter Cardigan Queen with one of Australia's best jockeys in Michael D on board. The race was run at a hot tempo and Red Card, the favourite, wasn't able to sustain the run, which opened the door for Cardigan Queen, who when he'd spotted Red Card uh, seven lengths at one stage, did peak at $800 in the run before storming home to get the job done in sensational fashion. And Michael D, that was certainly a forecast for what was to come for the remainder of the year for him. And finally, our number one in play long shot. It is Bella Nipotina in a race that could fit in three or four of our top five categories. Private Eyes was the favorite leading into the Giga Kick and had a perfect run. Got a lovely sit, got into a nice position and poked its nose in front at about the 200 and looked to have all comers beaten. And as such, shortened into a dollar one on the exchange. But Bella Nipotina with a superb ride was able to sneak up the inside, therefore shortening a couple of lengths and was able to poke through and win at $280 in play. You combine that with Private Eyes, $1 one is a bad beat, but also the fact that Bella Nipotina's price was 69.4% better on the exchange than Best Tote. This is a triple whammy and our clear number one in play long shot. Might not have been the absolute highest priced matched, but probably the biggest profile race, the biggest profile winner, and the most amazing story. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.